So we're already in the last process of preparation that is setting up the keys. So this is very exciting because for this one, I'm going to use one of the methodologies that Martin used in the course 3D printing from zero to hero. And I can find that this fit very well for this case scenario. Uh, there were different scenarios that he developed during the course, but in this case, I'm going to just show you one of those that is actually fantastic. So the most important uh, thing about making keys is just that you need to make sure that you need that union and you need also a subtraction. So you need a key and also you need a hole. In this case, uh, since my diver is going to be uh, like holding the, the board itself, I want to make sure that the key is actually in the body itself, in the upper body itself. And also super important, make sure that the key is inside embedded in the body. So not only touches it, but also it gets inside. So by the time you create the Boolean operation, uh, the Boolean operation actually works fine. So right now, just by using the ghost mode, uh, by pressing control T, you will be able to see how the key actually get inside, okay? So right now, just kind of double checking that everything just looks fine. And uh, once I'm, I'm happy, I'm just going to create also a second key. In this case, there is going to be a key also for the hair. So using the same operation, using the same IMMM brush that you can tell here, that it comes also within ZBrush, I'm just going to create it, move it around, and also mostly embed it inside the body. So after that, it's pretty much just doing Boolean operations. So super important. As I'm going to repeat back again, make sure that the key is inside the body, okay? So just by doing that, you can create already your Boolean operations. In this case, it's a union, so it's very easy. So the Boolean operation is going to take some time, but after that, you're going to have a clean body with already everything, uh, and the both keys already set up. So once you are done with that, the next step will be creating the subtraction for the hair and also for the legs. As you can tell here, we have the new, our new upper body. Everything is looking just fine. So right now we're going, to, we're going to create the subtraction. So we're going to put the new upper body in position and we're going to also create the subtraction. So in this case, I'm just going to make sure that the body and the keys are in subtraction mode. And now I'm just going to go to my folder Boolean operation. So we're just going to wait a little bit till the operation just carry on. This is a quite fun part of the process because at this stage, you are already finalizing the character. This is probably the part where actually like having fun trying to figure out where the keys should be. And here we have the final legs with our hole inside. Everything's looking fine. So it's pretty much just ready to go. So I'm just going to create a small time lapse just to show you just a little bit how I finalize the full character. And after that, we're going to start moving into scaling.